Um, <laughs> I gotta start off by saying thank you, God. I know it's hot, so hard to say thank you, God, in these circumstances, but I have to. I think I, I will start with that every time I make videos. And if I make a thousand more videos, there'll be a thousand more thank you, God, because um, I have to. As horrible as things are, it's so hard for me to function. It's continuously manipulation that's disturbing and rewiring my memories and this this just manipulations. And it's gonna be like that till my, my death. I know that. And I'm okay with that as long as I don't ever give them any any ounce of fantasy. Um uh, <laughs> I just saw somebody on on my uh LinkedIn that uh, I remember him before I moved to New York. And um, of course, I remember seeing him and somebody else. And I remember when I knew something was off there, like something was happening because somebody else was talking to him in his ear, whispering things and looking at me. Like it just, like they were up to something. And this is somebody we used to go out when my, in my 20s, like nightclubs, start to pick up girls and things like that. And all along, they were just prepping for the day this thing starts where I get manipulated and rewired in these disgusting ways. And it's funny how they try to change my memories to like, now we do, they knew that this and that. They, 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 and they basically try to say like they were like studying my brain. I was like, these people weren't studying my brain. They're just prepping for me to be rewired. But before that day comes, you know, there's, there's, there's a few steps that happens target visual we we know something's happening but we don't know why exactly and then one day things just gave super bad to the point where like what is going on to us why are we being changed this way what's happening to our brain and then we figure out that this is actually a program where the governmental use human subject governmental entities like the DOD use human subject and this human subject endure manipulations with very very sophisticated technology that can do so much to your brain but also to your body my body right now is just breaking down um and that's because of these DOD weapons so we're seeing him and seeing how they're just trying to change my memory of me back then giving me the same kind of reactions i'm having today but implanting that in my memories is just sad to just try to rewire reality but that's what they do. They just want you to accept this new version of reality that they've created. But you gotta be strong. And that's why I have to be thanking God because at this point I've been too validated. To say, to, to interrupt what's happening to me and to interrupt what I'm saying, sorry, and you can hear how, strong, how hard it is for me to speak. I hear a child saying something about, you raped me. And this should be an indication of what kind of people these governmental entities are contracting. Um, because today what's happening is I'm forced to get reaction that makes no sense. It doesn't even make sense. Like, I, I now know if I have a reaction, it's like, okay, why am I having this reaction? I must be a child there because this is when they try to degrade me. That's how I, sometimes I don't even know, like, it's like a, 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 it's like a spider sense now to the point where if they make me have this nasty reaction, there must be a child around or this is a child. This is how I know what I think is a child. It's because these people will force me to get stimulation. It's weird. It's disturbing. That's now the way I know if somebody's a child is because this trash, these governmental entities that have the ability to manipulate me, give me some sexual stimulation. Um, they were messing with me in these disgusting ways. I'm listening to a podcast. This man is talking about being funny. Talk about how he was being funny to his girlfriend, his friend, and say something about his her box was something and it's something sexual. They rewired my thought process to start thinking about a child, a baby, living next door. When this man was talking about his girlfriend and making fun of his girlfriend and being f funny with her using this kind of like sex joke about you know 
about her being you know she, the reason she doesn't have a guy is because she's not you know and so they rewind my brain to start thinking of a kid a baby so i'm saying that i have to uncross my legs because they do these disgusting manipulations and so i was like this is so disgusting but this is how they rewire the brain immediately i hear a weird knock on the door a very soft knock on the door but not my door the next door door i go see it because i'm like is that the neighbors trying to like because what happens is when they force you to have these disgusting thoughts and rewire your brain this way, they want you to feel guilty. It's the way they try to make you identify with these things. It's the same tactics over. They make you think in these disgusting ways and you hear them doing noise campaigning. It's so nasty. I go see who it is because I'm like, it's, I, I hope it's the neighbors. Because these neighbors are participants and they're the trash. But in fact, before I get to move forward with this, this thing that just happened, these perps are so foul and so delusional that they want me to identify with this facade. You know, I, one perp, because they think that, <laughs> that I think there's this group of progressive fan fatal doing this thing to me. Earlier today, this person talking to me, sounding like she's a female, was telling me how she has a girlfriend. Basically saying that she's a lesbian. And I think what she wanted to get out of this is because she's a lesbian. That means she's this progressive, fierce, femme fatale person. As if her sexual orientation makes her different in a sense that how she per perceive her. So if you're not, if you are just a regular, known, a, str a straight woman, you would then I should not perceive you the same way. You being a lesbian or not, these people are so delusional. They really want to paint this facade to try to make you believe that this is not this governmental entity is running this program. But that her being a lesbian changed the reality of what this is about. <laughs> like, like, this is what really goes to make me believe. You know what? She's a lesbian. She has a girlfriend. That means this program is different. It's not the program where they torture women and children. They wouldn't have lesbian be involved in that. Just regular straight women. Do you understand how delusional these people are? And she said it like, I'm like, this is a person who can say that and feel okay. So that gives you an idea how like no shameless they become. So I hear this knock from this door in front of me. I'm like, is that, is that the person who's talking about like she's a lesbian or she's a, she has a girlfriend so should, I should see this whole thing differently? I go see through the peephole because I'm like, is, I want to see this person who, who thinks that because she's a lesbian or because she has a girlfriend, I should see her differently. And I see some short person and I only see like the back of her head and like this portion like from here so you can see this thing and from the back so you see this and this and i'm like okay probably is the for a second i was like is that, is that the mother that lives next door because this she's a very short woman she's like five foot so, so um but i'm like why would she knock on the door so it's not the, the mother it must be somebody else but i'm start getting stimulation i'm like oh, I'm re re realizing I'm getting stimulation. I'm like, oh. And the, um, the more I'm thinking about, oh, if, I, if I'm forced to get stimulation, because there's nobody who can, like, I would, this, <laughs> nobody from this point to this point can make me have stimulation just by looking at that. But I'm getting sexual arousals. I'm like, ah, oh, if they're forcing me to have sexual arousal, she must be a child. And it's like two, some 220 or something like that you know but a little before 2 30. so i'm like oh well <laughs> well i forget that these people have no shame they will have their kids not go to school and do this if they're kids so i don't you know if, if this is if, if this this person's a kid and i think it's a child because they if they make me have these stimulations it must be a child that's how i know if if these people are children from the back of the head 
If I'm getting stimulations, like it has to be a child. Because that's the things they would do. I'm like, look at this trash. I'm so thankful. I hope you can capture the noise campaign. I'm just thankful. This is, could be me like that. This, my life, even though I'm suffering, I could be living life the way this person lives their life because they're supposed to make me acceptive of this. That I should believe that me having this sexual arousal from the back of the head of somebody and the, this portion will be feasible, like something that I, I will ever identify to. To the point where now when I, I recognize false stimulation that like, okay, if I'm getting false stimulation, if I'm forced to get arousals, this person must be a child because this is how they torment people. I rather die in hell than live life consciously doing what they do. Nobody wants to live the life that, listen, it's humiliating to live that life. It is. To the point where you tell you people, oh, I'm a lesbian. Oh, I'm a, I have a girlfriend. So you see, this is different. It's fierce. Really trash ass. Like I give a shit what, what sexual orientation. And as if like your sexual orientation would. <laughs> it's just a weak load of an opportunist trash. Trash, you still can't even say the special name. But you'll be the first one to force people to sexual stimulate You'll be the first one to be, to be forcing people to stimulate people. You'll be involved in a program that will force people to get sexual stimulation toward children. And then she tries saying, oh no, that's that kills. Like, look, listen to what, what you're involved in. Oh, I'm sorry, because you, you have a girlfriend, I should forget that you're involved in a program that torture children. Ah, uh, now you because you have a girlfriend. So the women who have boyfriend or husband, they, I should, they, they, they would be involved in a program where they torture women and children, but not women with girlfriends. Okay, make that mistake. Thank you, God. If those are my last words, <laughs> watch how powerful those words are going to be. I'd rather be dying like this than living like them. Can you imagine my life consisted to live the way they live? They're going to watch me to my last breath. But please, their life is not going to be extended. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this bottom fear having their kids or somebody who I don't even know. The only reason I think as a child is because I'm being forced to get sexual stimulation because from the back of the head and, and seeing that portion is... I can't really tell. But because I'm getting sexual stimulation, most likely a child. Why? Because they will do these things to torment me. And I know when they have these false stimulations. And they're like, oh, we cheated. I was like, no, you do your shit. But listen, this is how pathetic it is. Now I can't wait to see these kids. Oh, because usually I have a body cam on me. So I can properly embarrass them. And they know that. So to me, I'm like, thank you, God. Even though I'm dying, or I feel my body just slowly fading away. You know, these people are not, their life is not extending. That means that they're living their limited life, watching me being manipulated and dying while they are alive with the capability to live any life they want. But because the empowerment they get from these people who, empower, who contract this low life to do what they're supposed to be doing, these people who are the Department of Defense, who have so much problem with pedophilia that a, a bill was created because there's so much child porn being trafficked using this DOD computers and network. These bottom feeders feel so much empowered by what these pedophiles or these entities with a lot of pedophiles that they are here 
living this life. I'm so thankful to God it's not me with them. Having kids go somewhere where the target individual then is forced to get sexual stimulation. That the reason why that person knows this is a child is because, oh, I'm getting this forced sexual stimulation they're renowned to be doing to people. So this person must be a child. Thank you, God. This death is a dignified death. I keep saying that. In the, it's weird. I don't want to die. I want to live as long as I can live a dignified life. But this death that I'm having is a dignified death. I couldn't live like this low life. Who's out here telling me they have girlfriends? Thank you, God.